Okay, it is time we start the meeting. That's it for that meeting. Yes, let us go. Come on, let's go. Oh, we going? Okay, sure. Let's roll. We're here. I'll reveal your true form. Surprise attack successful. Now just there's an enemy that's scared. Now might be the perfect time. Yeah. Looking good. Don't forget really two enemies. I knew that this enemy was going to be It should be easy if you stay focused. One enemy remaining. Just a little more. Hurry up. Joker. I have something. I'll reveal your true form. I'll reveal your true form.
I can feel it. Oh my. That must be the table. Right. That influential politician comes here. Why don't we have a seat at the table next to it and wait for him? I'll go. He may become guarded if we go in a big group. Wouldn't it be odd with just one girl sitting there, though? Does someone want to come with me? Hold up, Joker! Let me go with her! I mean, dude! It's a restaurant! What are you, a preschooler? <sighs> I was wondering why you were so excited about this. <sighs> why isn't anyone asking me to do this? All right, we're going in. Everyone else stay nearby. I'll give the signal when the time is right. Man, what should I eat? You can't get full off of food in a palace. He's as dumb as ever. Uh, I can't read this. I'll have the sautéed foie gras, a salad garnished with truffles, and roasted lamb, please. I can't believe you can order so easily like that. Say, ain't we kind of young compared to the others here? They're all involved with Shido, yeah? They seem to be major figures in the political and financial worlds. On whose permission are you sitting there, brats? Whose? Uh, I don't see any reserved sides or nothing here. It'd be a nuisance if you'd make a racket next to my table. I wish to dine leisurely. Children like you who are simply hungry should leave. What was that? Skull, be quiet. <sighs> Sorry. I apologize for our discourtesy. If you understand, then go home. Excuse me, but might you be Mr. Oe? Indeed I am. This will be an impudent request, but would you provide us a letter of introduction to Mr. Shido? From the looks of it, you appear to be minors. Why do you need an introduction? We wish to be granted an audience with him. His political ideology resonates so much with us. Of course, the same can be said about you, Mr. Oe. You have quite the silver tongue for one so young. Not that I mind it. Are you a high school student? Yes, sir. Speaking of high schools, I've heard that some principal somewhere kicked the bucket. He supposedly tried to leak Mr. Shido's name. <sighs> Had he simply obeyed, he could have remained in the upper echelons to think he would cast all that away. An elite such as myself can't even fathom why someone would do such a thing. If you pledge your loyalty, you're given the honor of selecting those who would have mental shutdowns. Did you ask Mr. Shido to trigger a mental shutdown in someone as well? Hmm? Ah, more or less. Considering your caliber, I would assume that the target must have been someone quite important. <laughs> Important? No. The target himself was nothing that impressive. Oh, you must be being modest. You recall the subway accident early last spring? The one I had targeted was that engineer. Oh, that was you? It was to take out the president of some company and a diplomat who sided with current government. I see. That was very useful, Mr. Owe. Hmm? Actually, my sister is a prosecutor at the public prosecutor's office. I could pass on what you just said to her. How about it? Won't you give us a letter of introduction? Is that a threat? Who are you two? The letter of introduction, please. Don't get cocky, brats. I'll never give you one. Looks like you have one, though. Well, guess it's time to use brute force. Guys!
All right, we got a letter of introduction. Please keep the truth of that subway accident a secret. Fine. In any case, it turns out Principal Kobayakawa was connected to Shido after all. No wonder he was so adamant about me digging up information on the Phantom Thieves. Still, I can't believe Shido just killed him so nonchalantly. The entire nation is underwater in his palace. He must feel nothing toward one measly educator. In any case, even though that politician was cognitive, he turned into a monster. Up until Kaneshiro's palace, cognitive beings were nothing more than weak presences. No, that Oe fellow just now wasn't a cognition. Hmm? But he had the memories and appearance of an actual person. He was probably a shadow fused with a cognition. It's like making the shadow wear human skin. I've never seen anything like that before. Such power is normally impossible. Wasn't Shido the one who destroyed the research done by Oracle's mother on cognition? Oh, do you think that when he did, he took the results for his own purposes? Shido. For all we know, Shido could have some hidden trick that allows him to tamper with his own palace. We need to be especially careful from here on out. Of course. I will continue accepting them, even after I am inaugurated as Prime Minister. <laughs> as expected from you, Mr. Shido. You are truly a reliable man. And in return, I only ask for your continued support. Standing up to the world does require money. Of course. I'll make sure to prepare compensation as thanks for your help in cleaning up. The incident with that accident in spring was very beneficial. This is all thanks to you, sir. If the study of cognitive science progresses, I believe it's possible to increase the target range. <laughs> I bid you good luck with that endeavor. I hope you will continue to assist us. Can use the I'll just add this. I can feel it. Oh, hold on a sec, you guys. Door's locked from the other side.
their true form. I see you. Show me your true form. Form. I can feel it. I'll reveal your true form. I'll reveal your true form. Show me your true form. We'll see. One of Shido's will seats, huh? Nice. Let's find the rest of them.
true form. Hey, dude. You got a sec? Hmm. Uh, nice day today, huh? <laughs> Actually, maybe, maybe not. I, I want to go swimming in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Your turn, Panther. What? Um, hello there. We really would like to speak with you. We won't take much of your time. Will you listen? Please, sir. Sorry, but please leave me be. I don't have time for you rowdy children. Hey, you little... No, we apologize for our lack of manners. Come on, Skull. We should leave. The hell's up with that guy? Do you really have to be acting all high and mighty like that? To be fair, you walked up to him and said, Hey, dude, you need to approach this with more tact. Starting the conversation with a quarrel won't get us anywhere. Our approach doesn't matter if you won't listen to us. What are we supposed to do? Let's speak to the people around here. Perhaps we'll learn more about that man's temperament. At the very least, we might get some kind of hint. I guess that'd be better than nothing. Well, asking for info it is. Okay, let's go. Somewhere. your true form. Show me your true form. Did it, Joker? We do seem to be inside that door we saw earlier, but why? And more importantly, isn't this a fitting room? Just trust me. Wait here and I'll be right back. What's he up to? Oh, I have a really bad feeling about this. It's perfect. <laughs> this will totally work. Skull. You have quite a scary look on your face. Actually, it's creepy. Oh, don't worry about that. Come on, let's head back to where that former, uh, noble dude is. Hey, it's you girls' time to shine. I didn't think that we were really going with such a simple plan. Well... There's no way guys lounging by the pool would not check out girls in swimsuits. I want to go home. Are we really going to do this? No, it's for our plan. Will you stop saying stuff like that with a straight face? 
If you guys don't hurry, he's gonna go off somewhere. H Hello. It's a nice day, isn't it? What do you want? Um... Introduction to Mr. Shido? A letter of introduction, you say? <laughs> I would never give one to some nobodies like yourselves. A nobody? I've made my decision to only introduce those with a prestigious lineage. No matter how beautiful you girls may look on the outside, your ancestry cannot be changed. Yes, that may be true, but. Well, we're... I'm quite charmed to meet you, sir. My name is Ann Windsor. Ann Windsor? My father is the descendant of British royalty. I beg your pardon. Seriously? These girls are the daughters of my retainers. Oh, yes. Lady On treats us quite well. Ah, are you half British, Anjan? I am. Your features are definitely different from Japanese girls. One can easily tell at a glance. <laughs> People tend to have such misconceptions, but that isn't true. My hobbies include tea ceremonies. Then again, my father forced me to learn that art. I see. I sense a noble aura that is different from your servants. Servants? Lineage is absolute. No matter how much effort a commoner exerts, <laughs> it is a gap that cannot be filled. You're absolutely correct. I do feel a little sorry for these girls. For real? By the by, about the letter of introduction, if you'd be so generous to grant me one, I'll consider introducing you to my father. Oh, then consider it my way of sending my regards to him. Thank you kindly. But goodness, do you look great in that swimsuit. And such an amazing body as well. You look like you could be a model. Oh, no. Did you make sure to put on sunscreen? Hey, um... As members of prestigious family lines, why don't we get on more intimate terms? Excuse me? Come now. You peasant servants should take off. <laughs> You're making her embarrassed. Would you kindly stop this? Want to try on some other swimsuits in my room? Uh, don't touch me, you perv! No! Oh. Uh, huh? Now that I'm done using you, get away, you creep! This guy's a molester! What the? How dare you set me up like this? Uh, it's your fault for falling for such bad acting. Oh, shut up. We're doing this. It's time. All will be revealed.
Okay, we got the letter of introduction. Only three more left. Were you asking Shido for mental shutdowns too? Contrary to past methods, gaining wealth by lineage alone is quite difficult these days. That's why I begged to be allowed onto Lord Shido's ship. In return for introducing wealthy nobles to him, I requested he enact mental shutdowns for me. I see. So this system of introductions is taking place in reality as well. Lord Shido is extremely cautious about the passengers he chooses. So he's screening potential associates to find wealthy people who won't betray him. And that's why the passengers are wearing masks. He isn't deceived by people's outward appearances. In any case, On, your acting skills have developed quite strongly since our nude incident. Stop bringing that up! For clarification, you are... Good heavens, no. Everything is... Nice! Uh... Somewhere. I have something. Huh? Like it's locked from the other side. Let's look for another I can path. Feel it. Hey, look at this. Indeed. Um. An idea has dawned on me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Joker. Show me your true form.
This door is locked. It can't be helped. your true form. Show me your true form! Your true form. Four.
Mm -hmm. Reveal your true form. I'll reveal your true form. Let's go. By the myriad truths! Show me your true form. your true form. The effect of the cognitive world is... I'll reveal your true form. of a TV station, isn't he? He gives letters of introduction to executives of companies who are willing to sponsor his programs. That's a difficult condition to meet. Wanna just beat it out of him? Let me handle this. For real? But... I'll allow it. You've got this, Noir. Yes, Senpai. A letter of introduction. But you're so obviously a child. I'm Haru Okumura, daughter of the president of Okumura Foods. I believe we sponsored you as well. Oh, you're her. It's true that I'm quite indebted to President Okumura. 
He funded us extremely well, after all. However, it looks like he got a little carried away. My condolences. <laughs> Regarding his exploiting management, Mr. Shido asked me to defend him as much as I could. I even threw some extra security his way, but there were limits to what I could do. The damage almost reached up to Mr. Shido himself. President Okumura had to be cut off. Cut off? It seems he didn't just cast him off his ship, but also used him to trap the Phantom Thieves. Bravo, Mr. Shido. Truly a nasty maneuver. Won't you please give me a letter of recommendation? Once our company recovers, I will arrange for us to cooperate with you in a sponsorship role. You're the daughter of the late president. Do you really have the authority to do that? Your employees probably resent you. <laughs> well, that's not important. I'm in your father's debt, after all. I can repay some kindness to his daughter. Thank you. Very much. But my... Your father truly was a fool. He could have lived a life of luxury if only he'd done what he was told. You know, I'm the one who broadcast the moment of his mental shutdown. Our rating shot up because of that. <laughs> Stop it. Huh? How could you talk about my father's death like that? Hmm. That's just business. If you like, we can get you in a documentary. Overcoming death to rebuild the family company. You're so cute, you might just get good ratings. <laughs> I will not forgive you for that! You had better apologize to my father! <laughs> Time to save her! Are you... thieves? Persona! By the myriad truths! Introduction. I assume as part of the media, you have knowledge about quite a few important topics. We will not take your life as long as you share the knowledge that you've kept from the public. Remember that... Kanashiro guy? The one from the Mafia who ended up on the news a while back? Well, the money he was gathering all went to Shido-san. Shido and Kanashiro were connected? Indeed. As well as that old man Matarame. His counterfeit business, along with Kanashiro's mafia, aided Shido-san quite a lot financially. I understand now. Hey! You were forcing the news to be about Akechi and Shido all the time, right? <laughs> I'm sick of him. Wait, this guy's not a real person. Telling him ain't gonna do shit for us. Come on, we have to take down Shido himself. I would never have imagined that their leader would commit suicide. Akechi-kun, did you anticipate this curious turn of events? Oh, certainly not to this extent. But it is important to note that he was the mastermind behind the recent commotion. Getting captured must have wounded his pride irreparably. Such things happen often to insurgent leaders. 
According to the police, the whereabouts of the other members are still currently unknown. Considering they no longer acquire testimony from the leader, the investigation will be hard to... May I butt in for a second? Of course. The Phantom Thieves may have laid low since then, but they must not be excused. I don't care if they come after me. For the victims of their evil deeds and for their families. I will capture the remaining Phantom Thieves. No matter what. My apologies. I didn't mean to get so worked up. No wonder they call you an ace detective of justice. What passion. How about we use this opportunity to poll the audience? Those who believe the Detective of Justice will annihilate the Phantom Thieves. Press your buttons now! My, everyone in the audience agrees. Looks like you can't back down now. I will do the best I can. Oh, but I do have to study for my college entrance exams. I might not be able to promise that. None of these people know that I was an undesirable child. I wanted people to rely on me. I wanted to be needed. I devoted myself to my studies, acted as an honor student, and made my name as an ace detective. And thanks to the NAV app, and the persona bestowed upon me by the gods, I managed to dispose of any who got in my way. Though it took me some time to finally do so. All that remains is to tell him. But still, wasn't their leader's suicide a letdown for you, given how long it took to apprehend him? I think if it were me, I would have collapsed from the shock. True. It did make me feel somewhat dizzy. Just a little, though. Perhaps my mind was worked up due to the major task I had undertaken. Hmm. Hey, who is that? If you don't turn off your phone, the Phantom Thieves might change your heart. A phone? See? Even a catchy coon's face has stiffened up. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I'm not bothered. Just make sure to turn it off when you go to the movies. <laughs> if we can open it from the other side. This door is locked. It can't be helped. This door...
Okay. Show me your true form. Show me your true form. something important here. Why don't we look around? True form. I'll reveal your true form. I can see it. I'll reveal your true form. I'll reveal your true form. to the other side? Oh, excellent. It's a treasure... Show me your true form. your true form I found a chest what do you want to do Joker
this? Come on, man. Hold a moment. Feel your true form. I'll reveal your true form. your true form. I have something. Hey, it's somewhere. I see. Show me your true form. Treasure chest. Should we take what? Wolf. Let's go. Sorry, 
Indeed. Be the IT company president. I'm going to go by yourself. Mm. He'll be on guard if we all go together. Plus, it's IT stuff. This is my time to shine. Should we leave it to her? left to me it's like that show where the kid goes shopping alone for the first time <laughs> this is gonna be tough yeah, she's feeling good enough to joke around so maybe this will be fine after all just yell if things get dangerous okay what the who are you P -p pardon my entrance sudden those clothes I mean, why did you come in from the window? Well, well, the door's locked and you weren't answering. How else am I supposed to get in here? Oh, but I get how you feel. There's totes nothing better than relaxing in your own room. Uh, a girl? You're an IT guy, right? I can tell we talk the same language. That's not what matters here. Just who are... Huh? Is that your laptop? <laughs> this little guy caught your attention, huh? I made it myself. This is amazing. To think you could do this much on a mobile device. Want to see the benchmarks? It can pump out some awesome numbers. Although normally I just use this one as a sub-processor when I'm hacking into a tough system. Hacking? Do you mean like cyber attacks? <laughs> Ever heard of Medjet? Well, of course. Try not to be surprised by this. Actually, be surprised. I am Medjet. I'm the one who took down the fake. Huh? Don't believe me, huh? Here, this is proof. This is the project server. You identified all of them? If you want my skills, I'll need a letter of introduction. Man, to think the website we prepared got crushed so easily by a mere child. Huh? Y you prepared it? That's right. Why did you have to go and destroy our work? Because I'm a fan of... <clears throat> it, it was just because I couldn't forgive someone using the Medjed name without my permission. So, why'd you send Medjed after the Phantom Thieves? There was no reason to choose Medjed, per se. Their popularity was convenient for us, though. <laughs> we knew the Phantom Thieves couldn't target an anonymous group, after all. That's why? 
Medjid's defeat was supposed to be an act, so their actual fall was quite a shock to me and Akechi-kun. We were planning on shutting it down anyway, though, so it really didn't conflict with our plans. The Phantom Thieves must have enjoyed their moment in the spotlight, not knowing it would be so short-lived. You see, you gotta abuse a tool like the Internet. Well, the word abuse doesn't really describe it. The real charm comes in making use of the Internet in innovative ways that circumvent legal restrictions. You little... <laughs> I'm sure you understand. You're Medja, after all. Isn't it wonderful manipulating all those information illiterate idiots? What a third-rate fool. Huh? Not only are your skills third-rate, but you stink worse than a third-rate person. Don't treat me like we're equals. I'm gonna reform society. What a stupid idea. Don't tell me you destroyed my website for this so-called societal reform. That's right! It's because I'm a member of the Phantom Thieves! What? Picking on the weak and calling that innovative? Looks like I just gotta ban the guy at the root of all this. Shido, now, you're gonna give me that letter of introduction. <laughs> Why would I? But how about a computer competition for it? Huh? Don't be ridiculous. I'd rather just kill you. G guys So this is still what happens in the end. Well, now that we know he has one, this should be the easiest way to get it. Let's go. By the myriad troops! We got a letter of introduction. Making that fake Medjed wasn't the only bad thing you did, right? I want to hear your biggest secret. The cognitive science research. What did you do? Spill it! After extracting the results of the research, I deleted every last scrap of the original data. After that, I encrypted everything we had and put it on a domain inaccessible to normal people. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't know anything about all the mental shutdowns. Shido... What the hell was he researching? No matter what it was, we won't let him abuse it. Every media outlet is vouching for the inevitable Prime Minister Shido. The public loves you, too. We've only made it this far thanks to you. I'm honored to hear that. Now then, I have a favor to ask of you. What might that be? It's about the loyal customers of our mental shutdown business. How about you dispose of all the ones you think suspicious? Right at this moment? But the election is coming up soon. Correct. The earlier the better. Why so suddenly? Did something happen? Nothing in particular, but if something were to happen, it would already be too late. I can understand why you might be nervous, but why not stay calm and hold off until after the election? I'd like to take out all of the trash before my inauguration as Prime Minister of this nation. For the sake of absolute victory, I need all roots of anxiety to be pulled as soon as possible. Anxiety? You've never mentioned such things before now. Um... Shido-san? Do you understand what it means to cross me? Just do as I ask. I'll be counting on you. This is all too sudden. Could it be?
You guys just don't know when to stop. Is a hit on me really that big? What clan are you from? Clan? Does he mean like Yakuza clan? Wait, does he clean up problems by making people disappear? Crap! Is he really Yakuza? It seems that bastard Shido has close ties to the underground. How are we supposed to get the letter of introduction from him? Do we have to prove our worth? Hey! I'm a busy man. I gotta deal with cleaning up problems and all them mental shutdowns after all. If you got business with me, just spit it out already. A letter of introduction? Why the hell would I give you one? As I expected. We're here to suggest a tattoo design for you. A tattoo? Th this guy is great at drawing. <laughs> He's an artist. What is the meaning of this? I have no intention of designing a simple tattoo. I thought you'd be able to do it, Yusuke. What are you squabbling about? Yusuke, draw something! Art's art, ain't it? <sighs> Very well. May I at least decide what I draw? Uh-uh. I won't accept anything except a godly phoenix fitting for my godly personality. A phoenix? I'd rather something else. Making excuses now, Mr. Artist? You're all talk. People like you are a dime a dozen. I am not all talk. I can draw anything you want. Bring me a brush and a piece of paper. It's finished. Dude, this is totally not gonna work for a tattoo! Is it a monster? It has some kind of crazy aura. A truly... explosive piece. This is my perception of a phoenix. There's no way this is gonna work. I ain't seen nothing like this before. I like it. Thank you. It seems like it went well? Well then, I request a letter of introduction. On one condition, kid. I want you to be my personal tattoo artist. He wants to recruit you? I decline. No letter for you then. I must decide my own path as an artist. I will not receive aid from others any longer. Now, if you understand, hand over the letter. Otherwise, we'll just have to take it by force. By the way, you are more feral pigeon than phoenix. You cocky-ass bastard! I'm gonna destroy you! I'll rip you open and tear out your insides! We're still gonna fight after all that? For real? 
You punks are tough. I like that. You've got some backbone. All right, I'll give you my letter. Normally, I'd have to clean you guys up for messing around on the ship, but there's no point now. You're letting us go? <laughs> this place ain't gonna last much longer if powerful soldiers like you guys got in here. Time for me to jet. The captain was great and all, but he's gonna have to go down with this ship alone. See you later, kiddos. That was an unexpected response for a cognitive creation. Politicians never get too close to their shady connections. They must have only been linked monetarily. That must be it. Well, we finally have all five. We need to use these to get into the main assembly hall, right? Yes, and I believe that will be where we find the treasure. We've been to most other places to gather the letters. There's almost no doubt about it. We're gonna take his treasure no matter what! As I'm sure you all know, the importance of this particular card is unlike any that's come before. Once we send it, our opponents will know that Joker, who they presume dead, is in fact still alive. We will be putting our backs to the wall. If we lose, our lives will truly be over. We can't let that happen, can we? Hell yeah! Then it's decided. The real question is, how and where do we send the calling card? How about we make it super flashy? Our whole big plan was all for this moment, you know? Actually, it must be theatrically done. A minor leak will only be crushed by Shido's influence. Maybe it doesn't have to be in letter form this time. Hmm. <laughs> it's finally my turn to steal the spotlight. What's the matter? <laughs> it's nothing. Well, there's no use in thinking about it here. Let's head back for now. Oh. Time no see. You! Why is he here? <laughs> I'm impressed that you managed to deceive me. It seems I underestimated your abilities. You truly are interesting. Quiet, yet possessing the courage and determination to take action. Under different circumstances, we could have been great rivals. Or perhaps even friends. Wonderful. You don't allow yourself to be enslaved by such things as human relations or past selves. And so your heart is always free. The exact opposite of mine. To be honest, I'm envious. I wonder why we couldn't have met a few years earlier.
catchy. But it's no use talking in hypotheticals. That didn't happen in reality. Akechi, why are you cooperating with someone like Shido? Don't you see what this palace looks like? His true nature is... Cooperating? What are you talking about? I don't care for Shido or this country. All this is to make Masayoshi Shido my father. Acknowledge me, then exact revenge on him. Shido is your father? Remember I said before how my mother had been in a relationship with some good-for-nothing man? So I'm his bastard child. My very existence is nothing but a scandal. My mother's life turned for the worse after she had me. And died. I was a cursed child for her too. That's horrible. I resented him. But he was already a high-ranking official by then. A kid like me could do nothing. But... That's when it happened. <laughs> that's when I learned about the cognitive world. Someone, be it god or demon, gave me a chance. I couldn't contain my laughter. You son of a... Who cares? My targets were all doing the same damn thing in this eat-or-be-eaten world. All I did was remove their evil from society. How is that any different from the Phantom Thieves? We're not murderers! So what? Masayo Shishido is finally within my grasp! Once he reaches the apex of his power and acknowledges me, I'm going to whisper in his ear. I will tell him the truth of who I really am. And that's when I, an utter disgrace to the world, will rule over him. I will prevail! What a warped thought. It's almost pitiable. In just a few weeks, my plan would have come to fruition. But no. You just had to interfere! I can still take it back, though. I'll just need to kill you all. <laughs> we won't get killed for something like that. You talk big. But you're really nothing more than a little kid throwing a temper tantrum! Don't lecture me, you piece of shit! I am going to personally thrust Masayo Shishido into a living hell. So, Joker, rest easy and die. I agree. There is no need to speak any longer. You sure sound confident. Don't go pressing your luck. We already know all your tricks from back when you were working with us. Joker, how could you be so successful while having such an idiot as your partner? Huh? Quit bluffing! It's no bluff. If he truly is behind the mental shutdowns, he's likely only shown us a fraction of his strength. <laughs> I'll tell you all about my true power. While you die, you can take that knowledge with you to the grave. Kill them! The mental shutdowns aren't the only incidents people are talking about. There are also the breakdowns which cause people to turn psychotic, creating accidents and scandals. Those cannot be explained unless the true culprit has the power to make people's hearts psychotic. <laughs> That's right! It's my power. One that you don't have! He's gonna try something. Allow me to show you! Persona! What was that? That wasn't Robin Hood. Could it have been a different Persona? Even the feeblest existence can gain tremendous power once the chains on its heart are broken. You'd better not underestimate these two. What did Akechi do? The enemies are way stronger now! That dark enemy's powered up. Oh, Watch out! <laughs> well done. 
power to make others turn psychotic. He used it on actual people? This guy's out of his mind. Of course I didn't expect you to be defeated by them. You have deceived me and escaped death, after all. I wouldn't give up my chance to massacre you with my own two hands. He's coming. Brace yourselves! Flip him, Persona! All set! Persona! Let's go. Shown our true strengths, huh? Don't underestimate me! Kill them! Persona! Skull's in trouble! Let's go! By the myriad truths! He's able to turn people psychotic. I thought it was some special thing like the Nav, but it seems to be his own persona's power. I can't believe that the ability to control and drive others mad was born from within his heart. I'll kill you. You're all gonna die. Will you please stop? You're fighting the wrong people! We both hate the same guy! Why do we have to go against each other? Killing us won't make you happy. But... I... This ain't about what Shido says! You're your own person, you gotta know that! Damn it! You know, sometimes I think about that fake Medjed that you guys made up. That was the worst trap, but if not for that, I don't think I'd be here right now. Uh, basically, it doesn't matter where you start over. And you don't really hate Joker, do you? That smile before we fought. Isn't that how you really feel? <laughs> Follow your true feelings. Even if you think people hate you or don't want you around, that's... Shut up, shut up, shut up! Teammates! Friends! To hell with that! Why am I inferior to you? I was extremely particular about my life, my grades, my public image, so someone would want me around. I am an ace detective, a celebrity. A catchy gun. You, you're just some criminal trash living in an attic. So how? How does someone like you have things I don't? How can such a worthless piece of trash be more special than me? <gasps> Don't give me that cliche bullshit! What was that? The black mask. What about the other one, though? The one with the black mask. A black mask? Wait, who's he talking about? It can't be. There was another intruder besides us within this palace? Then what Kaneshiro said before? These palaces can net you loads of cash. You can do whatever you want into people's hearts. I'll let you in on a little something. There's a criminal using other people's palaces to accomplish whatever they damn well please. They don't care about consequences. 
psychotic breakdowns, mental shutdowns, anything goes. So, you were behind the mental shutdowns after all. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> this is actually a first for me. I might even have to try my hardest against you. You know, I just came up with a fun little idea. I wonder how far I can go with this. Fun? You're not satisfied with where we left it either, are you? Isn't this what you really wanted? You and I are going to strike and strike again until one of us is dead. To hell with holding back! Ah, just picturing it sends chills down my spine. What Shido thinks of me? <laughs> I don't give a shit! All I care about now is killing you to prove I'm better than you! Here. I'll show you who I really am. Come, Loki! Again, it's that persona. What's going on? Don't make me laugh. Justice, righteous, keep that shit to yourselves. You and your teammates piss me off! He can use two separate powers? Then everything, even his appearance was a fake! You're going down! I'll destroy you! Go down with me! No way! That bastard! He made himself go psychotic! <laughs> <laughs> Now, let's see you drop dead one at a time in front of your precious friends! Damn it, he's lost it. Here comes! <laughs> Die! You are the trash of society. I will kill you. Destroy you. Crush you. Teammates are nothing but trash! His new Come. persona's power is unknown. Everyone, stay on guard! Hmm. Uh, Sir, are you okay? Keep an eye on your health! Yeah! Persona! Hmm. Thank you! Woo! Ready to call it quits? I know. I've had enough. You're so lucky. Lucky to be surrounded by teammates who acknowledge you. And once Shido confesses his crimes, you'll all be heroes. As for me, people will find out my past deductions were just charade. My fame and trust will vanish. I see. So you were turning people psychotic, then solving the cases yourself. And you did that by joining forces with Shido. <laughs> In the end, I couldn't be special. Dude, you're more than special. It pains me to admit, 
but your wit and strength far exceeds ours. We only defeated you by teaming up. I was honestly envious of your natural ability. It was frustrating to see how much my sister trusted you. I have no intention of forgiving you for what you did to my father. But I sympathize with you. I wholeheartedly understand wanting to get back at the adults who took from you. But when you gained the power to fulfill that desire, you only used it for your own self-benefit. If you've got more than one persona, maybe you actually have the same kind of power as Jokers, that you trusted no one. So you only got two personas. One for your lies, and one for your hate. Still, you thought that was enough, right? That part I totally get. You excelled at everything over us. Yet that was the one thing you lacked. <laughs> All right, let's go back and get that calling card ready. We're gonna take Shido down. What are you gonna do? It'd be a problem if you kept getting in our way. Wanna come along and help us settle things? Are you all idiots? You should get rid of me. If you don't want me getting in your way. <laughs> you all are truly beyond my comprehension. Akechi? Another one? Wait, is he... That's... Shido's cognitive version of Akechi! <laughs> I'll deal with the rest of you later. <gasps> Captain Shido's orders. He has no need for losers. Well, this just moves the plan up a little. He was going to get rid of you after the election anyway. What? Did you truly believe you'd be spared after all the murders you undertook? Don't tell me. Were you actually feeling good about having someone rely on you for once? Oh, by the way, the captain says it's time you receive retribution for causing the mental shutdowns. What the hell, man? That bastard's the one who put him up to it! <laughs> I see. I was wondering how he'd protect himself. If I use my power to tear through his palace, turns out you're how. So he's making a puppet kill me. Sounds like something he'd do. That's right. I'll do anything. But look at yourself. You're the true puppet. <gasps> you wanted to be acknowledged, didn't you? To be loved. You've been nothing but a puppet from the very beginning. You little... So this... is how Shido thinks of Goro Akechi? It's... it's too... horrible. It's still not too late. We can change his heart together. Even if he's your father. No, because he's your father. What's all this nagging about? Want me to take care of you first? No, he's not alone. He has shadows too! You know what? I'll let someone volunteer to take his place. Who knows? You might delay his death. Damn you! You guys are all about doing things for others, aren't you? Oh, that's just the same as me. I'm going to take all the blame for our captain. I'll die for him too. This is what Shido thinks of Akechi-kun? Even after making him help with the murders? Here, I'll give you one last chance. Shoot them. <laughs> I was such a fool. Yes, that's the you our captain wishes to see. <laughs> Don't misunderstand. You're the one who's going to disappear! What is this? A 
catch it. Hurry up and go. You fool. Are you trying to get yourself killed? <laughs> the real fools are you guys. You should have just abandoned me here a long time ago. You would have all perished. If you had tried to face these with me weighing you down. <coughs> a catchy gun! <laughs> Let's make a deal, okay? He won't say no, will you? Why at a time like this? Change Shido's heart. In my stead. And his crimes. Please! After all this, that's what you have to say. Seriously, you really are. criminal like Shido do what he wants any longer. We can't. No matter what. Damn it. Hey, 
hell is that? Huh. It's pretty rockin'. So this is the main assembly hall? Probably. Dharma are often used as symbols of election luck. Plus, everything else in here seems real. Odd. There isn't a single person in here. It sounded as though there was quite the crowd inside when we heard voices through the door. But given how it looks, this has to be the root of the distortion. Yes, I'm picking up on the treasure's presence as well. There's no doubt this place is where it'll appear. Well then. Find a way to the other side. Show me your true form. A will seed. Well, that's the last of them for this palace.
Show me your true form. What do you want to do? Akechi saved us all in the end. I think in his heart, he might not have been so bad. <sighs> hey, let's succeed on this mission, no matter what. Hey! What? Sorry. Um, what shall we do? Sounds good to me.
Once you decide to send this calling card, there will be no going back. Make sure you're fully prepared. It's finally coming down to this. So, how are we gonna send the calling card? It would be pointless to send it to the Diet Building. And even if we handed it over to different media sources, who knows how it would be treated? The worst case scenario would be giving it to the police under the table. What shall we do then? We just said that's not gonna work. <laughs> um, Futaba-chan? My Futaba cannon is ready! Huh? It's good to go! Look! Now, if I do this... When did you make this? You should have told us you were planning something! To trick your enemies, you first gotta trick your allies. How stylish. It's kick-ass! This should work nicely. All right! It's time for people to start coming to their senses. We first start with national news. Since the young man suspected to be the leader of the Phantom Thieves died while in custody, the police have officially announced that these crimes have come to an end and assure everyone that the peace will be restored and <laughs> The one who you all know is the Phantom Thieves. And all of us are alive and kicking. But those shitty guys in power, they've been manipulating information to try and hide the truth. <laughs> what is this? Where's it coming from? I don't know. We can't switch it out. Seems we aren't the only ones affected either. So, before we appropriate our next target, we would like to first borrow your time. The recent scandals of public figures, the what accidents if just caused by event? psychotic breakdowns and mental shutdowns, these weren't caused by unknown reasons. One man is behind every single instance, simply to satiate his own greed. Is this for real? That man was afraid his crimes would be exposed and shifted the blame on us. He even manipulated the police for that. We only steal the hearts of criminals. But this asshole tried to dump what he did on us. That just shows he doesn't care about the Are they stupid? Shut everything down! The identity of that cowardly man is. The hell who's getting good? Ooh. The police reacted much faster than I thought. Too bad. <laughs> I win! The man behind it all is a current cabinet member of all things. The Minister of State for Special Missions, Masaya Shishiba. Oh, 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 oh. Everything that man says is a lie. And to prove that, look, as you can see, all of us are alive and kicking. I'm sure the people investigating us can tell if this is a lie or not. Shido himself. You think it's some kind of prank? Uh, no way. Could this be real? Don't block the road, hey, people! What's going on? You're not gonna sit back and watch some crook wreck this country just because of his goddamn ego. Ain't that right, leader? Hey, you can see his face! Yes. Before that happens, we will take this country. <laughs> Yes, uh, we're looking into it now. Please, if, if you would so kindly... Very well. I'll crush them beneath my heel. Did the remaining members put that notice out? What did they mean when they said nobody has died? Could they have installed a new leader just to threaten us and Shido? We're going to check with the different departments. Excuse me. Yes? What? How can that be? 
The Phantom Thief's corpse seems to be missing from the morgue. Didn't your men check the death certificate and carry your documents? Yes, but, uh, um... Give me a straight answer. Perhaps this Phantom Thief tricked us with his bizarre powers. Maybe he just made us think he had died. Who made those documents? Who was there at the scene of the suicide? Find a way to stop a change of heart! Don't we have Wakaba Ishiki's research materials? And what about Akechi? Where did that useless brat go? He must have run away knowing he failed! Bring him here when you find him! Got that? I'll erase any who gets in my way, just as I've always done. Where is the Phantom Thief's body? Phantom Thief? Body? This isn't the time for games! Um, I really don't know what you're speaking of. Oh, but that reminds me. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. But everything from then on is a blur. No. Could I have done something wrong? Then I... I... Uh, hey! Did the Phantom Thieves get to her? Don't tell me. Was your heart... Could this be true, Nijima? What have I done? The Phantom Thief! He's alive! Even so, how did he escape from the station? It doesn't matter. We must catch him. We can't let this get out. Not only was the suicide announcement false, but he got away on top of that. We'll have to interrogate you as a key witness. Uh, uh, why me? Check the documents you created. You may remember something once you look at them, but even if you can't recall, all responsibility for his escape rests squarely on your shoulders. Huh? I'm sorry, I honestly don't know what's going on here. You're the last person to talk to that phantom thief. You have to clean up your boss's mess. If you're going to resent someone, resent your dead director! Is illness really what killed him? Do you think his death was truly due to illness? That doesn't matter! Your actions have made a mockery of the police force! You're going to pay for this, I promise! Very well. It's all up to you now, everyone. Police officials are said to be currently reviewing the facts of the Phantom Thieves' notice, and... Welcome. Search the place. Your Sojiro Sakura, yes? Who the hell are you? Where are the Phantom Thieves? Oh, you mean those guys they've been talking about on TV? Don't play dumb with me. This is obstruction of business, you know. We've investigated this thoroughly. Is this the only way you do things? <laughs> They're not upstairs. Where are the Phantom Thieves? If you're not a customer, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. He's an accomplice. Take him away. Don't get all cocky. You're just some useless criminal's lapdog. Justice isn't on your side. The notice put forth by these so-called phantom thieves is absolutely groundless. It is nothing more than a wicked terrorist act aimed at obstructing the elections. What we need now is a powerful, unyielding leader. I am willing to risk my life to fight them. Oh, which one is right? Shido or the Phantom Thieves? I hear what Shido-san is saying, but is it true? I speak now to those who call themselves Phantom Thieves. Your actions are gravely serious crimes. You are rebelling against the laws of this country and unnecessarily causing alarm among its citizens. I call on you to surrender yourselves at once and apologize to the people of this proud nation. 
The Phantom Thieves cut into a live broadcast signal, didn't they? They're crazy! Oh, but don't you think that Shido looks like a criminal, too? Oh, I don't know what to believe anymore. I hope they catch them soon. <laughs> that bastard Shido's trying to act all calm, but he's probably freaking out on the inside. Apologize? Quite the funny joke. Who is the real criminal here? People are gathered here. Our calling card has had a tremendous effect. I'm real proud of that one. All they're doing is making noise, though. Seriously, they should just go home and sleep. Even after what happened, not many people want to see Shido have a change of heart. What we're about to do is just... right? That's right. Have we ever acted outside of the scope of justice? You have a point. Hey, look over there! To think he'd actually go after Masayo Shishido. Youth is incredible. This has me excited as well. <laughs> that boy really keeps the news rolling in. She doesn't notice we're here, right? That keen journalist knows is a force to be reckoned with. Whoa, why is Mishima here? Man, that kid's impressive. The Phantom Thieves are just. I guarantee it. <laughs> now that's what I like to hear. There may not be many of them, but we have to cherish our fans. Let's go change Shido's heart. Justice only we know, huh? If only I were 20 years younger. <gasps> Isn't this crazy? <gasps> the Phantom Thieves are totally insane! Ah, I wish I'd gone straight home. I could have seen it in person in Shibuya that way. <sighs> to think he would turn out to be such a troublemaker. Hey, wasn't there a rumor going around that the Phantom Thieves were murdering people? I knew they were no good the moment that stuff came up. I bet they're just a bunch of scumbags. Oh, I see. That's scary. They just don't get it. The bigger the target, the more exciting things get, right? Where did you lowlights obtain that power? Not that it matters. If you have a complaint, I'm willing to listen. What did you do to Akechi? He... He was your own son! <laughs> I had a feeling it was something like that. He reminded me too much of that woman. I also have an idea as to why he approached me. He was hoping to trap me, was he not? 
<laughs> he was sharp, but in the end he was just a kid. I controlled him merely by offering praise. I intended to dispose of him as soon as I became Prime Minister. What? I could never keep someone with such intimate knowledge of my past alive. <laughs> what an ace detective. He was standing beside me all this time, yet couldn't see through my plans. His destroying himself saved me quite a bit of effort, though. How could you? You stole my mom's research and took her life! Everything you've done has been for your own selfish gains! You even killed my father! I will never forgive you! <sighs> Sacrifices are inevitable in the path of reform. I only require that the foolish entrust themselves to their superiors. I shall guide them. The hell makes you think you're so much better than everyone else? You never would have been able to make it this far without Akechi's help! He only appeared because of the expectations God held for me. Moreover, it was thanks to me that Akechi was able to properly use his power to begin with. The changing of hearts that you've been doing was nothing more than provoking the public. How selfish! You were unable to win by honest means, so you used foul tricks to ascend the political ladder. A cruel person like you has no right to stand leading the citizens of this country. You're nothing but a criminal who rose above others by climbing a staircase of sin. The life of a nation, as opposed to those of a few sacrifices. There can be no comparison. The ignorant masses only care about their own personal happiness. I am merely granting that for them. That is the social reform that only I, as the one chosen by God, can enact. I can't believe you look down on everyone else so harshly. I'd never accept a leader who makes a teenager murder people. You say it's for the country, but I bet it's all for yourself. Nobody would wish for something like that. Nobody? Hmm. Then why was I chosen? Why are they surrendering the seat of Prime Minister to me? Everyone denies the value of hard work these days. Instead, they seek to effortlessly gain wealth. That is why I must re-establish this mighty country. One that does not waver. One that others bow to. Mighty my ass! That's just a crooked country made by a crook! We cannot let you do this. You are a disgrace to Japan. Hence, we will take your deranged heart. <laughs> Those who disobey me must be eliminated. However, considering the loss of Akechi, it would be a waste to kill those who are actually capable. I will allow you to choose between life or death one last time. Devote your power to my social reform. I will give you anything you want. Be it wealth or status. There's no way we'd follow you. No matter how many times you ask, our answer's not gonna change. It seems the ignorant masses are doomed to remain as such. I thought you were smarter than that. This is unfortunate. I have no choice but to eliminate you all. A small leak will sink a great ship. Great nations have fallen to such lenience. I will not make such incautious mistakes! <laughs> There's tons of them! Since when?
Let me make myself clear. Do not think of me as you did my foolish son who acted so brashly. You little... Die! Without further delay! Our leader's gone through shit because of you! It's <laughs> on! There is no need for thieves in my mighty country. Only myself and the ones who revere me are needed. Risking our lives Zona. to stop rotten adults. All right. That's why we're phantom thieves. Persona! Let's go. I won't go easy. I won't go easy. I hope you understand what it means to turn your back on me. I don't want to understand. Then you shall perish. You shall regret these foolish actions against me in the afterlife. It changed? I will destroy you. you stop resisting the nation I strive for is the ultimate realization of the public's happiness it changed again the weak must be sacrificed for the sake of grand ideals that is the natural order of this world now Panthers fired up It seems even thieves should not be taken lightly if they come in great enough numbers. Once you're losing, you're putting all the blame on the masses, huh? <sighs> so, you're the one unifying them. A touching reunion, isn't it? The next time you crush a foe, I suggest you do it in a more certain manner. Not that there'll be a next time for you. Hmm? You... You're more than just a member of the Phantom Thieves, aren't you? This ain't the first time you failed to finish this guy off. You took him to court, and yet you don't remember? You truly don't care about the fate of others. Wait. Could you be... the one from back then? That damn brat who showed up and stood against me when I was with that woman! <laughs> I see. 
So it truly is you. <laughs> what an interesting turn of fate. But your efforts will be worthless in the end. What? Small sacrifices are inescapable for those wishing to be powerful, competent leaders. How would you ever reach your destination if you stopped to count every ant you crushed on the road? Are you saying that the people you killed deserve to die? He's totally insane! I wouldn't expect the ignorant masses of this country to understand. Thus, I will offer proof. By forcefully crushing the Phantom Thieves! I'll erase any who stand in my way! I shall win this game! What is this power? Careful, those muscles aren't just for show! Let's go. Alright! Persona! Okay. over our society. It's vexing that I have to use this on some foolish brats. I will educate you through and through. He's still gonna come at us? Gotcha! Speedo! I have decades of experience over these brats. No way! He's even stronger now? <sighs> Die! Super move! Ultra Charge! Come! All will be revealed! <laughs> to think you put up this much of a fight! Bastard! I won't let you have this! To steer this country has finally come to fruition, but my ambition has only yet begun. I will not stumble over mere minutia like yourself. This time, I'll be dead certain to seal your fate. I will reduce you to nothing. We've come so far. We have to do something. Joker, please don't lose. Persona! Who 
truth. For causing countless mental shutdowns in others. You will atone. With your life. Don't you got something to say to our leader before you go passing out? Yes. I acknowledge that I incriminated you on false charges. I did it to protect myself. I'm so sorry for what I've done. It feels as though it's been quite some time since I have felt sincerely apologetic. Hmm. That may be good. So, I've been defeated. Phantom thieves if I take that. According to Wakaba Ishiki's research, temporarily collapsing a palace will take down anyone inside it as well. The abrupt nature of the collapse means they will be unable to escape without extreme luck. Uh, however, the only way to purposely erase a cognitive world is by halting biological activity. In other words, this medicine will temporarily kill you. There are great risks involved. Anything will do. Give it to me. <sighs> now, they're done for. How reckless of him. We, we must be sure to transfer him at once if anything goes wrong. If I don't, who will? What arrogance. I... I... What the... Huh? An explosion? But we haven't taken the treasure yet. We'll talk later. Come on, let's grab the treasure and run! I can't get through, I... <gasps> what is happening? Hey, Oracle! The ship is exploding, but why? What kind of sloppy explanation is that? I don't know what's happening either! Something might have happened to Shido in the real world. What do you mean, something? I don't know! Standing around here isn't going to help! We have to run! Oracle! Are there any other escape routes? I'm looking, but... <laughs> what about that way? <gasps> no! Our path... Still, where else can we go? Crap! This side too! Just gotta get there. It's too far. We won't reach it in time. I got this. Huh? 
Hang tight. I'll nab the boat. Ryuji! It's now or never. Here it goes! We're back! Ryuji! He didn't... make it out. We gotta go back! That's impossible. <laughs> this isn't funny at all. He was our fastest runner, too! So, this is the treasure. It's a legislator's pen. close for real though why do palaces gotta explode so much can't they disappear normally what didn't you die what I got blasted out from the explosion when I woke up I was lying on the grass I mean ain't I alive what's this your crying face is so not cute. It's your damn fault! What did I do? We were worried about you! You troublemaker! Wait! What's this about? Oh, hold on, okay? Uh, come on! I, I, I almost kind of died. Uh, you guys are joking, right? I'm feeling a bit hungry. Why don't we stop by somewhere before going home? Then I want sautéed foie gras! We're in reality right now, you know. <gasps> Sir! Is the medicine still affecting you? Medicine? Should we get him to a hospital? We should probably wait and see a little longer. I... I... <sighs> <laughs> Was his heart changed? Did the temporary death serum not work? Sir, if he's had a change of heart, will he blab everything about us? Everything will be ruined! What are we supposed to do about his campaign? Announce that he's not feeling well. Arrange a hospitalization in absolute secrecy. Don't let anyone near him. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. 
Keep the media out! Damn it, we have to do something! <laughs> what the? Judging from his lacerations, it would appear he was kidnapped, then killed at another location, and... Sojiro! Don't tell me. I'm gonna get angry if you don't come out! Sojiro! <laughs> hey! Didn't know you guys were back. You're the same as Ryuji! What are you talking about? I was taken to that asshole Shido's place. They suddenly told me I could go home. That's thanks to his change of heart, right? Thought as much. They had me blindfolded the whole time, so I've got no idea where they took me. Though it, it sounded like they were oddly bustling about. Looks like it's going well. <laughs> Man, my handsome mug was nearly ruined. That's all fine and dandy. They really did a number on this place. Sorry to bother you two when you're tired, but I need you to help me clean up. We just have to wait like usual now. act as normal as we can while we're waiting, too. Hey! What? You're so stiff. Like right here. And here. Thank you. That's... All right!
I've reconsidered my opinion of you, inmate. The look on your face seems to be that of a man who has accomplished a great deed. To think you would use the trap set against you to entrap them. I've never seen a dramatic resurgence such as that. Truly marvelous. Those are the only words I can think of to describe you. We should be thanking you for entertaining us thus. You've even overcome a mysterious misfortune. There should be no one left to hinder your rehabilitation. Your rehabilitation will be completed shortly. That is, if everything goes well, without any problems. <laughs> times have I had this dream? Or could it be that it's not a dream at all? My memories aren't any closer to coming back to me. But might there be something I'm supposed to remember? Oh. If, if I'm really not human, and if the truth of that comes to pass down in the depths of mementos, I... Could it be that I'll... <sighs> hmm... I'll just add this. 